often in a JavaScript interview, they ask you about NAN. In this video, we are going to learn about NAN and how to check a value for the NAN. My name is Dhanajay Kumar. So in JavaScript, NAN is an error value, which stands for not a number. And the type of NAN is number. Here I am seeing NAN as an error value. However, it is a property on the global object. JavaScript returns NAN if you perform one of the following operations. Like in an arithmetic operation, if one of the operand is NAN, you get result NAN. If one of the operand in an arithmetic operation is undefined, you get NAN. Dividing 0 by 0, dividing infinity by infinity, and multiplying 0 with infinity also returns value NAN. So let us see that how first we get NAN value in JavaScript, and then we would find how to check a value for NAN. So here I am. Uh, let us go ahead and see that how we get a NAN value. So for example, you have I have a function called calculate salary and that takes two parameters one is base salary and one is number of days an employee come to the office in a month and then it returns Let's sell uh, equal to let us say BS multiply by number of days and then we return salary from here. A pretty simple function which takes two parameters and it returns that salary uh, after multiplying those two parameters. Now we go and say cell of foo is equal to calculate salary. And let us say best base salary is thousand and number of days twenty. And as expected, we should get here result twenty thousand, which is expected. Now, assume that this para this uh, value for number of days parameter uh, comes from a hardware device or it is coming from somewhere else. And by any chance, while calculating sal salary for foo, this number is missing. Now we are not passing value for number of days. Now what happens that since value for number of days is missing, it has become undefined. So here if you go and print value, print number of days, this should give you undefined for line number six. And now when we run, this application you see that we are getting now result nan because one of the operand in the arithmetic operation in line number seven has become undefined so essentially in line number seven what we are performing we are performing thousand and then multiplying that by undefined so as we talked earlier that if one of the operand is undefined in an arithmetic operation javascript returns nan now the problem with NAN is the point number two that if one of the operand in arithmetic operation is NAN then, then it becomes NAN. So assume that here we missed passing one value to calculate salary. Now, now here you are doing some other stuff for example uh, let you are calculating bonus which is based on salary multiplied by 0.2. Now what, what would happen that even the bonus has become NAN because one of the operand now this salary is NAN. So go ahead and print the value for bonus and you'll find that for line number 9 also you are getting the NAN. So here what I'm trying to show you that NAN is something uh, you must be checking in your application. Like if one of the operand in arithmetic operation is NAN, then the result of that operation is definitely going to be NAN.
and here you see that this scenario now once the value has become nan now it is going to make nan everywhere wherever you are using it in other scenarios where you get uh, nan is uh, is that if you try to divide zero by zero <coughs> Uh, you should get nan uh, and uh, if you uh, try to divide zero by infinity or infinity by infinity etc anyway so now let us go back to our application here again and see that for line number eight before performing line number eight we should check for the value of nan uh, that whether if salary is nan then don't calculate maybe bonus and if it's if salary is not nan then calculate bonus or something like that so you can calculate that so if you go and say that hey if sal is equal to equal to nan then maybe console dot log and we would say that uh, can't calculate however if it is not nan then go and calculate the value for bonus so as you see that here I am just doing normal uh, um, uh, equality operator to check whether the value for sal is nan or not. So here we are learning that how we can check a value for the nan. Now when you when you run this application right here Here we are checking that the salary is nan. Console.log can calculate, uh, can't calculate, sorry. And if it is not equal to nan, then calculate. However, as an output, you see that we are getting that nan, nan here printed because with equality operator, we are not able to check. JavaScript does not check nan is equal to nan or not. So in JavaScript, I, the value of nan is not equal to nan so if you perform this operation hey where the value of nan is equal to nan or not you will get a false result and here i'm printing true and then here i'm printing false And you see this here you are getting output false because nan is even not equal to nan so it makes it very tough to check for a value for nan now how you can do that because in program we have to do we have to find the value for nan so one way to do that is a global function called is nan and here if you pass a value it will check and return you that whether the passed value is nan or not so as I run it, you see that it is giving me cannot calculate and uh, is nan is, is uh, one of the options you can use to calculate value for nan, to check for the value for nan. It looks good. Uh, so how uh, is nan works uh, here, so is nan works, is nan global function works in two steps. First, it uh, tries to, you know, convert past value to a number and after converting it checks for the value of nan so actually it does the comp uh, comparison in two steps first it converts a past va value to a number and then after converting it checks for the value of nan so here you see that we pass uh, it convert the value is nan so first it converted try, try to convert that to number successfully converted and now value is nan so it is returning you true uh, but let us say that uh, by any chance if value of the salary has become uh, let's uh, equal to undefined I'm commenting this line now in line number nine I'm passing value undefined so ideally this if condition should go false and I'll I should be here however if you run this you see that still it is giving you cannot calculate because what it did it first tried to convert undefined to a number it was it did it couldn't convert so 
So converting undefined to a number is actually, if you are not able to convert that, you get NAN. So is NAN has actually made this undefined here NAN and that's why uh, it is uh, returning you true. So that's the problem with is, uh, is NAN global function that uh, sometimes it returns you true when it should not. Only for the reason because it tries to do uh, these two steps. To solve that in ES2015, you have on the number object is NAN. And this uh, method, number.isNAN, actually only checks for the value for NAN. And you should be using it most of the time to check for the value of NAN because always it is going to give you uh, expected results. So if I go and change this to number dot is nan now i'll get the expected result here you see that i'm getting uh, i'm getting uh, nan uh, because salary is uh, is undefined but the the messaging what i'm trying to give you that number dot is nan now returns you the expected value because salary is not equal to nan sal is equal to undefined uh, well so so to check the value for nan you should always use number dot is nan to summarize again keep in mind that javascript returns nan if one of the operand in arithmetic operation is undefined if one of the operand in arithmetic operation is nan uh, dividing zero by zero divi dividing infinity by infinity uh, multiplying zero with infinity uh, to check a value for the nan um, one option is to use global function is nan uh, which actually first converts past value to a number and then after converting it checks for the value for nan uh, due to that what happens that sometimes it returns true when it should not for example if you pass inside is nan undefined it will return you true so the better option to uh, check for the value for nan is number dot is nan function and it always returns you an expected uh, result because it only checks for the value for nan and it does not convert past panel tries to convert past parameter to a number well, last uh, thing as we talked that a type of a nan is also a number so as you see here you are for the line number three you get the output number all right so this is something this is all about nan and you should keep in mind uh they, again they often ask you in interviews or you should be knowing it when writing an uh, a javascript application uh, thank you so much for watching this video i hope uh, you find this quick uh, video on nan uh, useful Thank you again.